Hey everybody, welcome to another 3D Thursday. I'm Noah and today we're taking a look at making a sci-fi inspired 3D printed gas mask. It's got hints of Star Wars, Fallout, and Guardians of the Galaxy. It's got EL wire, lasers, and of course, NeoPixel LEDs. In this project, we're mounting glowy electronics to some 3D printed parts to light up your face. A 3D printed gas mask makes an interesting addition to any Halloween costume and may even turn some heads at Comic-Con. This has three main pieces to it, the mask, the respirator, and the costume goggles. Details like the grill and the secondary respirators and conduits make this an intricate looking build. You can get the electronic goodies used in this project from the shop on Adafruit.com. So I'm putting together this design in 123D, which happens to be our go-to tool for making parts for 3D printing. To get the base shape, I had to measure various features on my head, like the distance between my temples, my cheeks, and of course my chin. It's probably also a good idea to add a bit of padding just in case we need some breathing room. I mean, it is supposed to be a gas mask after all, or at least look like one. A total of 16 parts make up this project, which can be either printed in ABS or PLA. We of course recommend printing in PLA to avoid any warping issues. All the parts are of course snap fit together, making this an easy to assemble project. And they're also available to download and modify for free, like always. If you have a well calibrated 3D printer, you can just print it overnight and probably even get a cool time lapse. Ah, fit to print. Hmm. The circuit inside the respirator looking part feature a 16 and a 24 NeoPixel ring. Both of these rings are wired to our Gemma, which is our bite-sized Arduino compatible microcontroller. These lovely components are then mounted to the printed parts by snapping them into place. You can of course get the full tutorial for this project by checking out our guide on the Adafruit Learning System. You can find the link in the description below. Everything is wired up with silicone coated stranded wires for more flexibility than wrap wire. A LiPo battery and slide switch make powering these pixels compact and convenient. EL wire is strung throughout the project, starting from the opening on the side of the mask through some conduit, the secondary respirator, and through various openings in the larger respirator leading up through the other side. Like I said, basically throughout the whole project. Costume goggles make up the top part of the mask and are mounted with a binder clip. The cool glowing rings around the eyes are special mounting rings that have a channel that allows the EL wire to be clipped into place. And for a more personal touch, I popped out one of the eyepieces and designed a rather stylish eyepiece that could have a freaking laser beam mounted to it. It totally matches my rather lazy visual symmetry. Appropriately sized slits in the mask allow you to strap an elastic band while the costume goggles already have one included. I added a bit of weatherproof foam with self-adhesive which makes wearing it a bit more comfortable. Don't forget to check out the Adafruit Arduino libraries and our demo sketches. You too can get Phil B's legendary utility knife code. And that's it! The final design goes well with a cyborg soldier type character or even a futuristic 3D printing operator. So what ideas are you thinking about adding to your projects? Why not let me know in the comments below? And if your brain is hungry for some more 3D printing goodness, we do have some more projects to catch up on. Wearables, cosplay props, useful tools shaped like weapons, and even sharp pointy things that are actually flexible and squishy. Thanks so much for watching. If you dig this project, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribing to our channel gives you first comment superpowers. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.